There's a couple things I gotta tell you about on this video. This is day two, part one. We had so much fun that I have to break up day number two into two parts, really. That's how much Monterey has. There's just a lot, a lot we couldn't get to and a lot to do. We took it easy though. In the morning I woke up and I saw the fog coming over the rooftops. I looked out of those blinds. It was beautiful. It really did beat the Las Vegas heat. It was a really cool place. Literally, it was a cool place. I'm telling you, just like before, I got my muse back. What do you do when you're on vacation? I get coffee. We could have made some in our kitchen, but we wanted to go experience the places, the local places. That's what we did. We decided not to go to the crepes place that's just on the first level of street level from our place. We went over to Crepes of Brittany, authentic French from Brittany crepes. It was awesome. They had organic buckwheat and sweet and savory, a whole bunch of pastries. I was so happy <laughs> because, you know, we have some of that in Vegas, but not really like this, I'm telling you, not really. I had to start with coffee and a croissant. It was a butter croissant and it was so wonderful. Ellie describes it perfectly, but on top of that, it was delicious. Ellie is my niece. I went with something different. You can add your own ingredients. So what I did is I got the smoked salmon and inside of the crepe was spinach and egg and it was a really great combination. I was so happy with my choice and it seemed like they really outdid themselves. I mean, it was beautiful once they heard I was gonna video, I guess, I don't know. You know, Ellie and Kim couldn't even finish their crepes. They took it to go and they actually put a happy face on one of the to-go plates. It was really cute, you'll see that. Everywhere I went, there was a happy face. It was just really blowing my mind. I don't know. It was blowing my mind. Tell us how you like it. I ever had a savory one. Oh, you know, what do you order over there? Oh, okay. Nutella one. <laughs> really? Okay, are you gonna cut into yours? Holy 
we needed to go to Trader Joe's and pick up some groceries and it was only just three blocks away. Very walkable, very convenient. On the way, you can see all these historical places. There's actual historical markers on the sidewalk. I didn't have time to do that. When I go back someday, soon I hope, I'll do that. And on the buses, they had them all wrapped up in different ads. Because you know, Monterey is famous for the jazz festival. It goes on and on and on. Trader Joe's. Baked cheese crumb. Oh yeah, those are good. There she found it. Cute. There you go. Whole Robbie. Okay. She found it. Yeehaw. Oh, because they give you a photo. That's nice. They changed where Monty's at. He's in the corner. Now he's not. He used to be in the corner. He's an otter. I found the otter. Now how many more do you have? This one and Monte. Mango egg roll. There it is. There. You now have to you find just Monte. need to get the what is it called? I think it's Monte. Monte. Because it's Del Monte. I think it's Del Monte. Where? Ooh, there he is. <laughs> Up there. Oh, uh, now what do you get? Like, you get you have to turn it in, I think. You turn it in and what happens? You get a prize. You do? Is it a lollipop? I hope not. <laughs> You're all excited. <laughs> these are the prizes. Oh. You get this guy, one of these guys. You can get a little bracelet. Whatever you want. <laughs> Take that? Okay. It's a purple lay. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. What do you do when you have a kitchen in the place you're staying? You want to make dinner. So we head over to Trader Joe's and we got our groceries so that my sister made sweet and sour chicken later that evening after we took our bike ride and walk and coastal trail exercise. We decided, ah, oh, we need some more coffee. And I had a smoothie, but you know, we wanted some more experiences. So what we did is my brother said, oh, just three blocks away. Of course, it's just three blocks away. Just convenience, right? Three blocks away, there's the Paris Bakery Cafe. And we were like, yeah, let's do it. I was blown away. There were so many people there. There was lines. There was a help wanted sign. Who couldn't believe your eyes? There was just so many treats to see.
I ended up getting a brioche. It was a really great choice. You would not believe the custard was so light. It wasn't heavy and sugar laden. It was full of texture. It melted in your mouth. On the brioche, you could see it had these little white speckles. I don't know what they were, but they were kind of like puffed sugar. It was wild. I had never had one like that. So that experience was really great. And we took some to go because we wanted that for the next day. <laughs> I ended up buying a smiley face cookie for me and Ellie to share because everything was getting a little too sweet and you can't really have a whole one and you can't really try everything. So it's great to have a crowd of people around, you know, to share. Goodbye. It's hard, no, it. it's hard to break it. No, you try break it. I'll film it. Okay, I'll break it. Ready? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. And this too. No. No. This is a custard break. Chicky bun. What was that? Um, vanilla chocolate bread. Vanilla what? Vanilla chocolate bread slice. <laughs> we got into the elevator. We fit three bikes and four people in this little elevator. They went on the coastal trail and I walked and videoed. You'll see I did some live streaming. That's on my Facebook. Someday I'd like to move it to my YouTube because the quality is better. It was a really nice breeze coming off of the water. It was sunny and that fog was so mesmerizing. You can see it coming right up off of the ocean. Just, you know, lingering there like a strip of fog. It was just so mesmerizing, but we were in like total sunlight, you know? It was a beautiful day. It was perfect. I was so blessed. We walked um, up the coastal trail. I had to catch up with them as they biked, but it was relaxing. I needed to work off my French food. We all needed to exercise, you know? You know, some of that uh, fish market, it looked kind of like zombie-like, like, I, I'm serious. It was just rusty, like tin looking, like rusty cans, I don't know. It was pretty scenic though. That was really picturesque on video, and I'm glad to have captured that. I had uh, a great time. There was a beach over there. We uh, met back up towards the Fisherman's Wharf and we went and we walked and sampled all the different chowders. It was really good. That's going to be on the next video, part two of day two. Guess where I'm at? So we didn't have enough bikes and I'll be the walker. <laughs> Hi Janetta, we saw a winery thing called Janetta. I'm serious, but it was spelled differently. And that flag says we don't give a shit. Ha <laughs>
what is this beach? Um, the what Monterey it Beach. It's the Monterey Beach. <laughs> And this is just the pier? I've never seen a pier where you could just drive up and down it. Everybody's parked on each side. Anybody home? I want some seafood. Oh no, that looks creepy. Zombie apocalypse seafood. Just joking. Oh, Don't I see them. They're huge. On the catwalk, you do your little dance. Okay, I'm gonna go down there next. So you better be careful. Because it does make your legs kind of. You do your little dance on the catwalk. On the catwalk. Look at them. They're huge guys. Don't put your hand on a dirty leg. I'm on a boat. Hang on to your phone, you'll cut it. Don't worry, I'm Andy Death Control, whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Are these like males and females or males? Males? Two males. This is my hand. I'm holding a bolt. This is pretty high up. Okay. They're just hanging out, lounging. food. What you doing? I'm stalking this bird. Hello Mr. Seagull. I don't have food for you. Bye. <laughs> So like, I don't know if they open the window and then they sell this to the public. I have no idea. Very industrial looking. There's uh, seals underneath the pylons down there. Way down there. This is for Cindy. She loves Chester the cat. 
But look, it's a zombie apocalypse outbreak response team. And look, it's Matt. I love guns and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> They're funny. They were watching me video this and then they went Rah! like it's a zombie. Look at these tires. Look at the tread on that. Whoa. Crazy vehicle. And it's a Toyota, of course, right? It wouldn't be a vehicle if it was. Look at this. see what's on the other side. I think it's another Cheshire cat. landing it's a historical marker it's saying that on this spot in July 7th 1846 US Marines and sailors landed and raised the American flag over the Custom House which stands before you Mexico and United States were at war American forces landed landing in Monterey claimed 600,000 square miles of land for the United States I'm standing at this historical where they raised the flag. That's the flagpole, but there's no flag up there today. Monterey's earliest pier of stone, built in 1846, gave way to a commercial fishing wharf in the early 1900s when Monterey's multi-million dollar fishing industry was born. Despite many changes, the wharf today retains the tone and the flavor of the past. A monument to the fishing industry and the fishermen who brave the wind and sea. I gotta head back because we're all doing a family dinner. It's my brother and his family that I'm staying with. That's how I can afford this. So I'm here with my sister and we're having a great time. We're having we're having a great time. I just walked up this pier behind me and the fisherman's wharf. Got my uh yeah, it's beautiful, huh? I got my exercise in because we were having like heavy French foods, pastries, oh my gosh, it's like authentic. And uh, anyway, I got to head back. Now it's probably 60 and there's a breeze coming off to the ocean and there's fog rolling in. Can you see the fog there? Check this out. Custom House is the oldest government building in California from 1822 through 1846. Monterey was the capital city of Alta, California. Cargoes of everything under the sun were brought ashore and assessed at the Custom House. This was where they assessed everything they brought in. It's a Monterey State Historic Park. 
And here's some of the typical cargo that they brought in through this custom. That's an old photo of what it, well, painting. And this is the custom house named State Historic Landmark number one on June 1st, 1932. The first historic landmark. Because I'm only up here, just down the street. just want to tell you about Revival Ice Cream. If you're there in Monterey, don't wait for me. <laughs> That's going to go on my bucket list and Alvarado Ramen. That's why I include it on this video because I know they're good spots and I know that you will not be disappointed and that's why it's in this video. There's just too much to do and too little time and I'm not going to rush. I'm going to take it easy. So my sister did try the black sesame ice cream and they said that they make a lavender sauce that goes on. subscribe and comment. I need your help with liking the videos as well and thanks so much for watching. It's just uh, a really great experience that I had and I hope that you can see that. I even make the music so it takes a lot of work and I hope you can see that. <laughs>